Hi, Becky Wells here, your Usborne Books and More consultant. I'm here to talk to you today about fiction books. M more importantly, our newer fiction books. So we've got some board books. We're starting out with board books. We've got the Little Artist books. This is a set of four books, perfect for little hands. And you see we have Ruby, Mondi, Nina, and Carlos. So we'll show you Mondi here. He's a little musician. And they just perfect, this size book is perfect for your little hands. And I love that all the kids are multicultural in there. Great diversity of those books. So, okay, we have an I Want to Be a Astronaut. This is part of a new series. We also have I Want to Be a Lion Tamer. But it's all about imagining what you want to be when you grow up. I, I can be anything, a spy, an astronaut, a deep sea diver. I love that there's both a boy and a girl featured in this book. And I love how they actually have the girl in some science fields, like in The Lion Tamer, she's a vet and a marine biologist. We need more of that in our society, teaching our girls they can be whatever they want. Okay, peek inside a fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood. Wonderful, just like our peek inside fact books, we have a story this time, we have cutouts, so much th so many things to feel in the pages, gorgeous illustrations, and even some flaps. Talking about our compilations, we have two new ones. One's five minute stories, and this is 10 10 minute stories. We have um, Beauty and the Beast in here, The Tin Soldier, The Story of Pegasus, The Firebird, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, Pinocchio, gorgeous illustrations. Um, perfect stories right before bedtime. Okay, I think this is my favorite. We just got this for my daughter for Valentine's Day. The Usborne Illustrated Alphabet. Comes in a slip cover. It's a cloth bound book with a little uh, bookmark, tear ribbon bookmark. But it's everything you want in an alphabet book. It has both uppercase and lowercase. It has A is for alpaca, and I love that they're not always the traditional. But then there's a story with it, and look at this gorgeous illustration. This It was a bad day for the animals at Alphabet Zoo, and it began with the alpa when the alpacas ate all the apples. So this little short story on each page is full of words that begin with that letter. Plus, around these letters here, you have other images that you can spot. Airplane, ant, apple. Here's another page so you can see. Gorgeous. And like I said, everything you want in an alphabet book. I'm a Hungry Dinosaur. Are you familiar with I'm a Dirty Dinosaur? Here's a companion. This time, instead of illustrating with dirt, the illustrator used icing, cake batter, and sprinkles. So great for any little budding chefs in your household. Too Many Tomatoes is our new book from Eric Odie. Uh, his books not only are gorgeously illustrated, if I can open this up for you, but are just absolutely wonderful for um, rhythmic uh, stories and to really get kids interested in the story. Grandfather's garden is popping with peas. It's buzzing with blossoms and bumbly bees. It's bursting with berries and beans and potatoes and tall twining vines of too many tomatoes. Now we've got cookie crumbs. This is a book full of poems and praise of dizzy days. You know, did you know there was a National Hat Day? Or how about National Lookalike Day? Or Happiness Happens Day? So this is a set of uh, little poems written by a children's poet laureate um, about all those random little days in our, our calendar year. Moving on to fiction. We have a number of new of chapter series that have added Penny Dreadful, uh, Fairy Pony series, and Wheel Nuts. Wheel Nuts is now complete with actually the last three. My sons ran off with one of them. Um, but the last three in the series to finish out this kooky race. Um, the illustrations, every page is full of color. Um, Gorg fun illustrations, fun story. A new series we have is The Secret Mermaid. And far out in the ocean live the shellkeeper mermaids while the rest of the world sleeps. 
one girl joins them for some magical mermaid adventures. Sandy Lane Stables, if you have a horse lover, this is going to be the book for him or her. Not really illustrated, it's just a great chapter book. Um, I believe this has actually come back. Now when we're talking about our older readers, we have a new series. Um, there's two out now, The Sword of Kuramori, if I pronounced that correctly. Motorcycle ninjas, demons in business suits, headless vampires, none of these are on Kenny Blackwood's sightseeing list when he arrives in Japan, but even before he lands at the airport, things start to get weird. It's not long before he discovers that Tokyo is teeming with mythical monsters that only he can see, and they all want him dead. Now, another book which sold out of my inventory recently is this new series, The Impossible Quest. It's a great fantasy series for your uh, middle schoolers. It is very popular, a lot of fun, and any Harry Potter fan is going to love that. And the last book I want to show you, which also came out, um, is the, uh, out of my inventory, sorry, is these picture books, Billy's Adventure Series. We have Underwater or Desert. So if you're familiar with the Hey Jack or Billy B series, this is for younger kids. It's geared for your preschoolers. So they're putting Billy and Jack and their friends in preschool situations, dealing with emotions. They are great. I want them for my child. So that's what we have on tap for new fiction. Have a great day.